What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick Manet. And today we'll be taking a little bit of a look at the patch notes, uh, updates about the game, how you can find updates, uh, and what's kind of planned for the game so far, like what's just been uh, revealed and spoken about. There's a lot of stuff that I've seen and heard about that people have said that I can't really say. Uh, it's a lot of picture of stuff and so on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys what everybody have access to, uh, in case you have forgotten what it is, or you haven't seen it. Um, so basically how to find it is just you go on the Rogue Company's Twitter and you have something like right here. They would just say they have like basically their roadmap, what they look out for, uh, when it's going to be released and everything. As well as you have Discord server over here, you have announcement, game updates and Twitter feed. All of this is going to help you out just to look for updates, what you can get. Well, not what you can get, but what the game is going to get. Uh, so yeah, let's take a quick look at what we're getting. So we're looking at is upcoming features. All of this has been recently fixed. This is the what they're looking into right now. That's just the update notes and everything, how fixes and everything. Uh, so phase one, we're getting pl player profile. Uh, this is something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, basically, you will get player identity, probably more stats coming out. To be honest, like you will have more stats down here. Uh, probably more uh, achievements to look at, uh, probably fix a lot of the achievements that's kind of bugged. I know for example hard carry is bugged for a lot of people, as well for me the tutorial is really bugged. Um, so yeah, I hope they get a lot more stuff with this, or if they get a lot more details to look forward to. Um, second thing is going to be the third penalty, this is something I'm desperately kind of want the game to have, but I don't want it to be too strict basically, because it's going to scare a lot of players away. Uh, I hope you get banned for or, or locked out for like 15 minutes and if you leave another game you get 30 minutes and for every game you leave within like say 4 hours you will get 15 minutes so say if you leave 5 games within those 4 hours you will get like almost get an hour or get 1 hour and 15 minutes um, that'd be nice uh, as well as maybe if you leave like say you leave 5 to 6 games a day you should get like a little icon to your uh, like next to your name so people know you're a quitter uh, basically just to try help you out or they're aware of it basically because if you have somebody who is leaving because of a bad game just having a little bit of socialist like socializing with that guy or just I don't know trying to make a game better for one guy so you won't leave just for your own sake to be honest uh, like giving him his main just I just nobody likes people who is leaving uh, so having identified people who's leaving basically can be nice because you can kind of try to uh, talk your way around it and play around with space if you can identify them. Uh, surrender phase, uh, we're getting a surrender system. Uh, this is gonna be nice. I hope you at least have to play four rounds before you can surrender, um, or you have to be under with three points or something to surrender. Uh, this is gonna be nice. I'm not gonna, even gonna use it. I don't really surrender that often, or I'll just play my game and be over with it. A game is a game, in my opinion. Uh, but it could be nice having if you're like going 2v4 or something like that. Uh, yeah, it could be really nice to have. Uh, we're getting a new map, Vice. It was supposed to come out a week or so ago, uh, but they pushed it back because the servers were kind of not handling it. They had a lot of technical issues. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, basically, it's like a neon techno map, or whatever you can say. It's a lot of bright lights, it's a lot of futuristic stuff in it. Uh, so, this looks really cool. I've seen some gameplay of it. I think you can go see it on Twitter or Reddit as well. Uh, so on the phase 2, new playable rogues, I've seen pictures of the new rogues that's coming, they look really cool, uh, I hope they're doing something special about it. Um, I don't know if the rogue that I saw a picture of, it's the new one that's coming out, uh, I just got to see her weapons, uh, there you go. Uh, just got to see the weapons basically, uh, and perks and so on, not going to go into what she's going to have. Um, uh, but yeah, it looks cool. I haven't seen the ability. I hope it's something new I would like to see maybe some grappling hooks or something something that we could elevate players a little bit in the maps That would be cool to see um, So it's just saying one rogue uh, So I think we're just gonna get one new rogue this year uh, I hope really hope it would be more basically because we're getting a little bit burnt out on the rogues That's right there now custom matches. It's gonna be really really cool You can try out stuff in custom matches. You can play hide and seek whatever you can play fun games uh, You can try out spots nade spots glitches if you're into that um, But the main thing I'm looking forward to is the wagers and, and playing scrims and tournaments. That's gonna be really cool uh, I think it's gonna make a lot of a bigger 
because I a lot bigger competitive community. The community is really competitive right now, uh, but I think this is gonna have like a barrier between people who want to play hardcore and people who want to play, you know, casual. Uh, so I think that's gonna be or really competitive and really casual. Uh, so that's gonna be nice. Uh, we're getting ranked mod as well. Uh, this is where I'm looking the most forward to. Uh, I would love to see some cool ranks in the game, some cool rewards you can get for playing it. Uh, as well as you would get like MMR ranked and you would play with people that's on your own skill level. Uh, that'd be really handy because I'm sick of playing with people who has no idea to play. Uh, so maybe for a solo player that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope there's solo queue, dual queue and squad queue to be honest. That'd be really cool. Uh, and you would get like rewards and XP and ranked compared to what you're playing, solo, duo or squad. Uh, so yeah, that's like the thing I'm most hyped about. I really hope it would come up really really soon. But as I said, it's phase two, that's probably not until maybe like October or something. While this other hair is like August. I think all of the phase one is coming in August. I think phase two is coming in October. And I think rest of them is coming around New Year. Probably before that. Um, we're getting Rogue Masteries. I don't know if it's in the game yet where you can see it. So if I click on my Lancer, you have you Mastery Rewards in Bio. Uh, so you're probably gonna get skins for using it maybe, I hope. Or maybe you get tags or dances or just whatever. Uh, this is something that's really old school in my opinion. It's like when you were playing Modern Warfare Remastered or Modern Warfare back in the day, uh, you would get, you know, you get camos based on how well you did with a gun and how much you used the gun. Uh, so that's gonna be really cool. I really miss having systems like that in the game. You don't always have to buy a battle pass or like cosmetics to get cosmetics. Uh, you can just get them by playing rogues. I really hope that's what it is. Uh, I really hope you get titles and so on as well. Because if you have a thousand games with, uh, with Ronin, you would get like a cool uh, avatar or something for that. Um, so yeah. Uh, so in phase 3 we're getting equipment masteries. I believe this will be weapon wraps and so on. You will get the... Uh, uh, skins for your weapons, camos for your weapons, based on how much you use the weapon, how much XP you have with the weapon, I hope. Uh, maybe headshots or challenges, everything just sounds really cool to me. Uh, right now there's not that much to grind for in the game, except for stats. Um, so hopefully you will get something cool from that, you will maybe get like... Um, like you will get silver, bronze, gold and so on, uh, just to start off with. And then maybe when Halloween is coming out, for example, they will make a time event for Halloween skin. Uh, I think that would be something that could get a bond to the community a lot. Um, I'd be like, two, when the game is a year old, people are like, oh yeah, this kid played when last Halloween was and he has the Halloween skin, so that's cool, you know. Stuff like that, it just makes the game a little bit more timeless, more crisp. Uh, and it kind of tells a story about every player, in my opinion. Like, who has been playing, how long have you been playing, have you done certain challenges. Uh, battle Pass, uh, a lot of controversy about this. A lot of people don't want the Battle Pass. Me personally, I don't really care that much. If it's like 15 pounds, 15 bucks, I will just end up buying it. It's something to grind for, it's just some extra stuff, I think. Um, I just hope the rewards are really, really cool. Uh, and I hope it's XP based or something, or maybe challenge based. Uh, and I hope it's like some short battle pass that only lasts like a month and it's not too hard to grind through because there's a lot of people who don't have the time to grind through. Uh, I think they should save all the hardcore grinding and rewards for the masteries and so on instead of a battle pass. Uh, that would make it a lot more, I would say, friendly for people who maybe play a couple hours a day, but they can play the game for two years and still get the reward that people have made gotten in a month. Uh, I think that's really, really cool. Um, gameplay improvements, yeah, the game has a lot of bugs right now. I think the bugs are going to be fixed before this patch is coming. Uh, but this is like probably if they get a couple more uh, bugs that's coming in the game, or they're just going to make maybe run smoother, or change the menu. Uh, change some maps around, change some weapons, bugs and buffs, nerfs and everything. Uh, so hopefully, there when this is probably gonna be the end of the year. Hopefully, when the end of the year is near, the game will be pretty much complete. I really, really hope so. I think the game is great as it is right now. It definitely has some issues. There's no game out there that doesn't have issues, uh, and it's a beta, of course. Um, so hopefully, it will have, I would say, a lot more stuff to grind for, uh, more rogues to play. Um, and hopefully more maps. So far it's just like one more map, one more rogue. Hopefully they can release a couple more rogues within this year. I would like to see one more defender based. Like you can play defender and attacker on both sides of course. But um, I would hope to see something that's more defender based and something that's more attack based. Uh, basically because right now I feel for me, my playstyle is only two rogues I really really like. And that's Trench and Lancer. Lancer's my main. 
uh, I would like to see maybe some Lancer character, not with the specific abilities, but as a uh, life drain slayer with an AR. That'd be really, really cool. I know you have Dima in the game right now, uh, but I don't feel Dima is a slayer. I feel it's more of a pusher. Uh, so basically, I'm just hoping for a lot more new rogues, new maps, new updates. I hope for time events, for example, Halloween events, Christmas events, Easter events, stuff like that would be really, really cool. It would just kind of tie everything together and make a little bit more of an impact on people when they see a skin. Like, oh yeah, you can't get this skin anymore because it's an Easter skin from 2020 or 2021. Uh, so I think stuff like that is really really going to make this game cool. I think they have a lot of opportunities to make this game a great game when it comes to just cosmetics. Uh, some stuff I've seen online right now that they made, uh, I don't know if the picture is allowed to show, uh, but they're looking really really cool. I've seen a lot of weapon wraps, I've seen a couple skins uh, to characters. I am mind blown on not just the details on them and quality. Um, so definitely for my sake it's worth the money on them and I really hope uh, some of them are just mastery based, like you're gonna get them by grinding mastery and not just by buying them or season pass. But we'll see how it goes. So far, what's set up right here is looking really cool. It's a lot of new stuff, a lot of stuff to be excited about, especially for me as a content creator. I'm, I'm definitely gonna try out a lot of new maps, or the new map, the new rogue. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just what I've been reading and my interpretations of the whole updates and roadmap. Hopefully they will lift the NDA maybe. I don't know if they're NDA on it or not, but there's a lot of pictures that I have on my computer. I think it's like 60 plus pictures of just stuff that's either fake or making its way into the game. Uh, but I haven't seen anybody else post it, so I'm really, really scared of posting it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye bye, take care.